Hi everyone, welcome to Getting Fit, Staying Fit. We are going through and beginning um, our spiritual exercises for the week of Getting Fit and Staying Fit based upon a book by Richard Foster called Spiritual uh, Celebration of Discipline. And last week we looked at meditation. These are, the, these are the inward disciplines. And this week we're going to look at the spiritual discipline and practice of prayer. And you could say that there's really no wrong way to pray, but there are some ways of praying that are less helpful and less fruitful than others. Whenever we go to God in prayer and we give God a to-do list, or we give God what I will call, I hope you pardon the expression, a Santa Claus list um, of things that we want God to do and things that we think God should be doing and the ways that we think the world should be and look and the ways that other people should be behaving, chances are we're not going to get real far with that. And we're going to find ourselves frustrated and then eventually we're going to give up and we're going to stop trying and say, what's the use of this prayer stuff anyway? So here are some ways I personally have found to be helpful in prayer. Um, the first is to ask what, what uh, Foster would call intercess intercessions. Um, I ask God to bless people. I don't tell God what they need or what to do with about a certain situation because God knows God knows better than we will ever know and I simply ask God to bless them bless John bless Mary bless Sam bless Fred bless Jane that's all that's really that simple um, so that's the first part of prayers the second part of prayers is to ask for direction and guidance and uh, God's will for us in what we should be doing. I was going to say God's discipline, but Foster's already taken that word. So as to simply, you know, one of the favorite prayers I like to conclude in the morning with is help me, guide me, teach me, and inspire me that your will, not mine, may be done. Thank you. And that's all. It's that simple. Um, another way of praying are prayers of thanksgiving. Uh, what I like to do sometimes is just to start with thank you. And I just let that sink in. Thank you. Thank you for my life. Thank you for the opportunities that are before me. Thank you for the work that you have given me to do. Thank you. Thank you for my friends and my family and my children and my husband and our dogs. And thank you. And thank you for the flowers and the bees and the birds and the butterflies and the ladybugs and the red-tailed hawks and the rivers and the mountains. And thank you. And then a lot of times I'll ask, um, I'll say, God, you know what's going on in my life, and um, please help me know what you would have me do with this, and thank you. I like to add thank you at the end of a prayer. It's amazing what happens with that. So those are some really great, simple ways to engage in prayer. And the most powerful prayer I have ever prayed is please help me. I can't do this by myself. Last thought by Anne Lamott. She wrote a little book called Help, Thanks, Wow, that those are the only three prayers we will ever need. Another good book to read. So I hope you really get something out of this this week as you, as you practice getting fit and staying fit spiritually. Have a good week, everybody.